Look at this weather. Spring has arrived. We don't have to be miserable anymore with the rainy, no snow winter. I'm home for just a day, so I figured, hey, why not do Toby, uh, Toby Tuesday? So, haven't done in a few weeks, been up north, and actually heading back up there today after this, so. But look at this. I'd say another, another week or so, the track will be ready to go. It looks ready now, but what happens is when we get the thaw, all the water from that top field flows down through the track and into the river. So it does stay fairly muddy for a couple weeks, but uh, as soon as that river drains down, she will be good to go. So let's go over the barn, get Toby, and do this. Hi, Tobes. Hi, Tobes. Loving the spring. Look at this. Oh. There's the most snow we got this winter. I don't think they opened the snowmobiles once, or the snowmobile trail once here. I saw maybe a few people ride on it. There's a few trail marks, but definitely not worth it to buy a new sled and buy a snowmobile pass. So glad I went up north, did the snow bike thing, and I'll be back home in a couple weeks. And back into it. Hey, Tobes. Hey, buds. Got some questions? You got some answers? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, right there. All right, questions. Keegan Saracino, do you have any plans for a Florida trip anytime soon? Well, probably not until at least this fall, fall 2017. Like the weather's clearing up pretty fast here, so I have really no big reason to go to Florida. Unless I come for Supercross, but I'm, I'm pretty busy up north. So yeah, to um, fall 2017, I definitely want to come down there for a month and just ride and meet people and do lots of fun stuff. So that's probably the next time I'll be in Florida, but you never know. There's surprise trips all the time, so. Um, MX slash RC, are you going to start jumping cars in the summer again? Of course, yeah. I built that jump for cars and I have a good deal with the scrapyard. So definitely as soon as the ground kind of hardens back up again, we'll get some cars going. See what the scrapyard's got and we'll see if we can flip one this year. I also want to move the freestyle ramp out of the way and then hit the, the landing backwards in a car. I think I think that would be pretty crazy and I think it would... Go for a flight. Um, Grant Concrete. Do you miss quad racing? Um, I did for a bit, but I th think I'm kind of over that now. Like, it was nice being, or it is nice being back on the uh, the track, the race track with the snow bike and winning a few weeks ago. That felt pretty amazing. But um, you know, you can't do these things forever, and uh, I was just kind of over it. And yeah, so. You know, I'm on to new and better things, and things change with time, right? Obviously, everyone wasn't really happy about it, but you'll you'll realize as you get older that you just can't do the same thing forever. So, I'm happy where I'm at right now, and I'm excited for this year and to expand and really kind of do a lot more crazy things and add in a lot of variety. Um, Nolan Jessup. Will you come back to Maydock and ride? That's a good question, actually. I drove through there the other day on the way to Quebec. But yeah, I was only there the once for the race. But yeah, it would be kind of nice to come back up there. Swing a few laps, maybe this summer. The schedule is packing up pretty fast, so you never know. But uh, maybe I'll swing by. Um, last question, Jevin, Devin Jorgensen. What do you think of the Can-Am X3? I think it's pretty crazy. Um, I haven't really seen one in person. I saw one in Quebec, but it was just kind of driving by. I didn't really get a full chance to look at it. So, but definitely I got a side by side in my mind, ready to order. I just need the 30 grand or whatever the hell they are now. I remember when they used to be like 15, now they're like double. But um, yeah, the technology with them has definitely changed and way better so it'd probably be a can am of some sort i'm not sure which one yet but uh i definitely want one for this year 
just mainly for well summer and in the fall when it gets muddy and I can't ride the dirt bike anymore but there's no snow to ride the sled so it'd be nice to have a side by side to rip that and yeah so thank you guys for the questions I just want to do do a quick Toby Tuesday I know like I'm living up north and obviously Toby stays home at the farm here so but I'm moving back in a couple weeks and I will get back on the Toby Tuesday routine again and then we'll be whipping out the dirt bike getting it ready to go so thank you guys again Tobes you good you wanna go come on let's go so thank you guys and we'll see you later